Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tenors de Human, and welcome to the special Games Guide edition of Total War. Today, we will look at how you can modify the buildings in the game files. Quite simple to do, and it can add all sorts of extra effects. You can see here this port is now giving me happiness, health bonus, growth bonus, random units with high experience. We can really make these buildings do whatever we want, just a few simple changes in the game files. And of course, part of what we want to do today is have a little bit of an experiment. You can see here I've got myself some stone walls because what we're going to do is try and make the barbarian factions a little bit stronger. Of course, not all factions were created equal, and you will find that barbarians get the rough end of the stick. Naturally, the game is trying to be very pro-Roman. The game is very much told from the Roman point of view, and indeed, it wants them to succeed. It wants to emphasise their strengths. But I think when you start playing the game for years and years, you like to play as all these different factions. And there's an inherent problem when you start playing as the Barbarians, and that is that your public order becomes incredibly difficult to hold on to, particularly when you start to take these big cities off the Romans later in the game. Of course, as I start moving down into Egypt as well, these problems are going to get even more ridiculous. So you can see here, we're already struggling to hold on to a lot of these. And that's because one of the big problems we have as the Barbarians is a lack of infrastructure. We can't get ourselves lots of buildings, such as the bathhouses. We can steal them from Roman cities like this. We can't build them ourselves. We don't have all sorts of things, from the academies to even the stone wall. So what we want to do today is try and figure out if we can even up the balance. Can we change the game so that barbarians with large populations can start to build themselves large and huge cities? Well, no, unfortunately. Uh, the game won't let us do this, but what we can do is start adding in other buildings, buildings that they couldn't normally get, but now we'll make accessible to them to help rebalance the problem, particularly with public order and also with public health. And obviously also things like the stone wall, which are just irritating when you try and defend sieges. So what we're going to look at today is not quite how we can actually get large and huge cities. That is not going to be possible, I'm afraid. What we can do is try and even out the balance in other ways. And of course, I am going to try and figure out some solutions for the fact that these buildings theoretically can never be built. The folder we need is this one here, it is the data folder, and if you want to get into this on Barbarian Invasion, you just need to go inside that subfolder, and indeed, if you want to do this on Medieval 2, it will work just the same, but you need to go back into Medieval 2 files instead. So once we're in the data folder, if we scroll down towards the bottom, you get the export files. So we're looking for this one here, export underscore desk underscore buildings. Stone walls are one of the key things Barbarians lack, so let's have a little look at how we can make those accessible first and foremost. Once we scroll down and we found ourselves stone wall, you can see how this particular file is broken down. So for example here, these are all the defences for the town. Wooden palisade, wooden wall, stone wall, etc, etc. Now the first section here is the simple wooden palisade. You can see there which factions have it available to them. It tells you a little bit about its tower defence level, one turn to construct, 400 monies to build. Now, from here, we obviously want to scroll down because that's just the wooden palisade. Barbarians have access to that. They have access to the wooden wall. And you can see here, stone wall, they are no longer there. They are not a faction that are able to access it. And I say a faction because the barbarians, it's, it's kind of done by culture along here. You can actually put in specifically Britain if that's what you want. But barbarian will cover all of the barbarian factions. So now, simply by adding this in here, I will be able to get stone walls. As we get started here then, we're going to have to add some artificial population in to make Londinium big enough to be able to get the stone wall. So as we get that sorted out, we'll be able to now see, yes, stone walls are accessible for our city. You can see though, the game's a little bit confused about it. It's got a bit of a weird picture in this kind of warning message here. <laughs> warning, this text should never appear on the screen. Um, don't worry about that, we can fix it. And also, it isn't actually going to destabilise your game. It's absolutely fine. It's just a kind of UI issue. The game isn't expecting the Britons to have this building, so it doesn't have the picture. As I said, we'll sort that out very quickly. But we'll point out, actually, if we go and process this, it's going to work absolutely fine. We come in here. Once again, we don't have the right picture for here. So we're going to have to get a couple pictures into the files. But if we go quickly into the city, I'll show you that this does completely work. There isn't actually a problem with it at all. So... Let's head in to the town, and I'll show you what I mean. Ah, the beautiful town of Londinium, with all of its marvellous peasants walking around. It's a good day, and indeed we have walls, you can see. Britannia walls. So, the walls were loading completely properly here. 
no problem whatsoever. It is just the UI bugs we need to sort out. I say bugs, it isn't even a bug, it's literally that there are no files assigned to the Britons for this particular building. So, it works completely fine, it isn't going to destabilise your game. Let's head back into the files then and we'll just sort out the little UI icons. We're back inside the data folder and if we scroll down here we want to head into this folder here, the UI folder, because it is to do with the user interface. So if we look at this, we have the Barbarian folder here. You also have things like the Egyptian folder, the Greek folder. Now these are all based on their cultures. So the stone walls right now, we're gonna make accessible for all of the Barbarian cultures, be it Breton, be it Gaul, be it Spanish. So we want to head into this folder here, the buildings one, and inside here, with all the different pictures that we need for our UI. Now, at the moment, we're obviously lacking the stone wall, so we're gonna to have to take it from another factions folder. So we head back into UI. What you can do, for example, is just take it from the Romans. So if we head into their building section, we can go and grab the Roman stone wall, and we can go and add it onto us. So there's actually two files you're looking for here, and you can simply copy them, and obviously you don't want to cut them because you don't want to leave it inside their folder still, but you do want to then take it back to Barbarian, into Buildings, and you can paste it in here. Now what you do need to do is just change it around so the game understands what's going on here. You need to now change it to Barbarian. Okay, so just make sure you actually spell it correctly because otherwise you're going to get yourself in some problems. So I was expecting it to be a Barbarian settlement. So we will change that round. Lovely. And there's also a subfolder here, Construction. They have more folders inside there. We need to go and grab the relevant file again. So we'll head back to Roman one more, and we'll go inside Buildings, and this time into Construction. This time there is one more file we need, the Roman Stonewall. So let's copy that. Head back into Barbarian, into Buildings, into Construction, paste it in, and then we need to change it once again so that it is a barbarian stone wall. And with that, we are ready to go. This time when we process our buildings, you can see, marvelous there, we've got ourselves a stone wall and we've got ourselves a picture here. It still has this warning description, but that's not a problem. As I said, you at least are getting the proper pictures appearing now. There is one other way you can do this though, because of course in Barbarian Invasion, the Barbarians do get stone walls. So if you like, you can go and take the picture from your Barbarian Invasion files and go and put them in, and then you'll get the icon from that game. Another drawback of being barbarians is that you lack sewers, and you will find huge, huge problems with squalor as you go forward. So let's try and alleviate that a little bit. Let's head down to sewers this time, and we can have a little bit of a fiddle around with this. And we can see here we don't currently have barbarians, so let's go and add that one in. Just make sure we have a bit of spacing in there. We'll give ourselves the sewers, and if we want, why not? Let's just make it one turn to construct, and let's make it say 200 cost because we can change that if we want to why not let's just show that that's very easy to do and it will just take that to mean that that is reflected in the game so let's head into the next bit let's give ourselves the the barbarian bathhouse as well of course and as we go forward in fact indeed we can actually change the bonus up to four if you want to make it higher um it would be slightly ridiculous to do so but you can if you so wish and yes, we can also have the aqueduct here and the city plumbing. You know what? Let's, let's have that too. Let's be greedy here today. So if we go and do this now, we should be able to reload the game. And this time, we're going to try and build all of these buildings. Before we go back into the game, though, let's have a little fiddle around with the cities because you've got here the governor's house, the basic city. Now, as I said at the start, the game is actually hard-coded so that we can't have more than a minor city with the barbarians. So this will be the minor city here. We can, of course, do what we've just done for stone wall, and presumably you'd expect it to work. It won't. Um, I'll just repeat that now, but I will go and change this as well, just so that when we go back into the game in a moment, you can see for yourself that it isn't going to do anything. But I do have a little way around that. Here we are then back in the game, and you can see this time I've got myself the Barbarian Invasion little icon for the stone walls. Done the same for the sewers, in fact, so you can see that that is very easy to do. You just need to grab the file from that folder instead. So you've got the sewers here, a one turn, 200 denarii. Those are the changes that we enacted in the files just a minute ago. They've already carried over into the game. If I wanted to press one and turn here, I will indeed get myself that built and see the sewers are done, one turn. It is very simple to go and do that. And you can see the public bars are now available because I've got myself the market. Now, this is working, but 
in spite of it saying this up here, we are not able to build the large city. Obviously, I haven't put the icon up there, so that's why we got the icon. But you'll notice it isn't an option to build. I can process these if I want to and cheat those forward, but I cannot get myself a large city as the barbarians. This brings us on to the major dilemma here, which is that although we've made the aqueduct and the city plumbing available to us, we can't actually build a large enough city to get them. Now, at the moment, it's saying it's lacking a great market, but you'll notice that even if I go and artificially process that, city is now done at making that building, it's still not going to work. We're obviously not the large city we need to be to build this particular building. We may not be able to build our own large cities, but we can, of course, still take them. So, heroic victory over Rome, and with that, we'll be marching in to their territory. We'll exterminate. And with that, a large city is in our possession, which of course means that we should now be able to get ourselves the aqueduct. That of course though means building up our infrastructure. So we've got the sewers, we'll get ourselves the baths, and there we go, the aqueduct is now a viable option for us. You'll notice that I can't get the city plumbing, and that is of course because we are only a large city. The, uh, the drawback of this is that you're going to have to take huge cities in order to be able to build any of the tier 5 things. Obviously, the same as taking a tier 4 city. It's not a perfect solution by any means, but you can still get these buildings to work should you take these cities. We're trying to address the balance between Barbarian and these more Eastern factions on the game here, but it's not going to be perfect. But I'm hoping that this at least levels the playing field just a little bit. That being said, there is one last thing I can suggest for you, and that's this line here. The settlement minimum and large town line. And essentially what that's referring to is the sewers can be built as long as you have yourself a large town. The baths can be built as long as you have yourself a city. Aqueduct, large city. So what if we change that round? Let's just change that to city. And indeed, let's do the same of the city plumbing. Now, with this change enacted, we will be able to build ourselves the aqueduct and the city plumbing in a minor city. If you do it this way, just be aware of any other extra conditions, such as the city plumbing requiring the Great Forum or the level 4 market, which we currently haven't made available to us. You can just take that line out if you prefer, or you can of course make that accessible to you. Back in Londinium, our minor city, and we're going to build those public baths, because once we've done that, we will, yes, be able to get ourselves the tier 4 aqueducts. And once that's built, we will again have the next level, the level five city plumbing available to us. So there you are. We can see now that we have ourselves in Londinium some tier five buildings with only a minor city. It is completely doable, but you just need to bear in mind the knock on effects that this might have. Naturally, it's not just us who are going to be able to do this. Obviously, any faction who are able to build this particular building are going to be able to do it now in a minor city. That could really change the way the game flows. I haven't actually tested it in a long game to kind of see how the cookie might crumble on that particular matter, but it could have a significant impact. And the other thing to bear in mind as well is that you obviously can't get the higher tier governor buildings, which means you'll still potentially have squatter issues. But with any luck, this would at least be able to alleviate some of your issues. Last thing I want to do then is point out just a few other things you might like to do with this file. Of course, the main thing you want is to make certain buildings accessible to your faction, but you can actually also change what the building effects are. So for example here, we have ourselves a basic port. You can get yourself by reams or naval boats, depending on which faction you are. It also gives you a bit of trade base income with your trade fleet. We could change the round though. If you want, we can go and give it some extra happiness or make it so that you can get some sort of, I don't know, chosen swordsman or something from it. So if we go search for happiness, we can go and yeah, here we go. From the amphitheater, happiness bonus of one. So let's go and take that, copy that line, and if we head back up to the port, we can insert that into the file here. So just underneath that, we want to add that in. Happiness bonus of one. We should now get ourselves a happiness increase. Maybe we want to add in a unit as well. You know, I quite like the druids. So let's go and find ourselves some druids, which, yeah, there we are. Barbarian British druids. So let's get that. That zero, by the way, is the experience. We can go and change that if we like. Maybe we will go do that momentarily. So up to port. And... Let's go and just put it in underneath here because this is the recruitment part, isn't it? So we might as well keep it in line with that. So tab it across. 
this should be the experience we gain. So let's uh, give ourselves five experience for our lovely druid. So we'll save that up. And this is a nice little example for you of all the other little changes you can make in the files. Here we are then with a fresh city ready to build ourselves a port. And you can see there, yes, you got a public order bonus due to happiness of 5% and druids experience 5. So we should probably, probably go and get that built actually. So let's go and do that. And now, yeah, some druids experience 5. They take two turns to train. We can change it in the other files. Go watch the old links if you want to know about that. That is marvellous. It's so simple actually just to change little things like that. So whilst you can do a little bit of rebalancing with all the little editing in this, you can have a little bit of fun, change things around a bit. And of course, the British Druids are well known to be swimming around the fishing ports of northern France. But there we are. That is indeed all for now then, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed this little guide to the buildings. This, of course, does work in Rome, Total War, Barbarian Invasion, and it does work in Medieval 2, Total War 2. You just need to make sure that you unpack the files. I have a video to that in the link in the description below as well, of course. Now, um, yes, we haven't quite managed to completely rebalance the game here. Sadly, we will never be able to build ourselves large and huge cities as the Barbarians, but I hope this has gone some way to rebalancing that. And maybe, if nothing else, it's giving you a little bit of playing around to do because there's all sorts of very easy changes you can make using that old file there. But for now, I will leave you. You can expect more of these guys coming out very soon. But I'm Thomas, this is Tenez Human, and this has been Rome Total Wars Game Guide. Thank you, and goodbye. Shoot the flames of death into their eyes. Oh no, we're gonna die! Coward, 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 coward. Stop, sir! You're supposed to die! Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away! Our ballistas can actually shoot our own gates! Okay, let's get on with this battle. Run away.